Getting together with friends and family is universal. It transcends cultures, traditions, and generations. We pass down recipes, we share stories, and it brings us closer together. And in a world where we are more connected than ever, there is still no substitute for spending time with the people you love. I'm Stephanie Olson, and I'm in charge of balancing the books here at the Gromit. I really got into hosting after college. My mom and I will pretty much take the lead on everything. She is one of five siblings and I have lots of cousins, so any event we have is at least 30 people. There's no such thing as a small dinner and there's always a crowd. I got started helping when I was around 11 or 12 years old. I was the cleaning crew and babysitter for my younger siblings. My mom would say, you better make sure this house is spotless and watch your brother and sister while she was prepping everything else around the house. Then, as I got a little bit older, I started bringing appetizers, side dishes, and desserts. Then one year, I brought two appetizers, a side dish, and a dessert and decided, all right, I am really in this now. It was a surprise 25th anniversary party for my parents. I was living at home at the time, I had just graduated college, so trying to keep it a secret and plan everything under the same roof where the party was gonna be was challenging. I devised a plan with my aunt and uncle to help get my parents out of the house. We had them set up a dinner with enough time for myself, my brother and sister, and a couple friends to help come in and get everything set up. We're patiently waiting for them to leave, and as soon as we see that car pull out, go down the street, all hands are on deck. We have people coming up the street with decorations, food, drinks, just getting everything ready to go. And when my parents finally got home and were coming up the steps, we knew we'd pulled it off. They walked in and everyone yelled surprise and my mom started crying, it was great. My dad, he yelled out, oh, I knew this was happening, ha ha ha. But at the end of the day, it was fine and everyone had a great time. And the fact that my mom cried was really my goal anyway. Planning is key. My mom and I will have long phone calls trying to figure out the menu. What are we gonna serve? Are we gonna do Italian? Are we gonna make a ham? Who's bringing desserts? Who's bringing appetizers? That's usually the starting point. We've had situations where we tell people, bring an appetizer, and we end up with six veggie trays. You wanna make sure you assign tasks. If people wanna pitch in, great, but you want to know what they're actually bringing and make sure you know what you're in charge of. We've had a few Thanksgivings where the rolls are burning in the oven because no one had an eye on them. Have your head on a swivel at all times. I like to test different recipes and try new things out, and there was a point in time where I really wanted to try gluten-free baking. So I tried a recipe I found on Pinterest for gluten-free cupcakes, um, and it turned out to be a Pinterest fail. We always have a lot of desserts to choose from, and these particular cupcakes were not budging. Nobody wanted to eat them. But to make it look like they were getting eaten, my mom kind of took a couple off the plate and tried to sneak them into the trash can while I wasn't looking. But I was looking, and I caught her in the act. I love the buzz of it all, getting everyone together, having fun with great food and maybe a couple of drinks. There's just an intangible energy about hosting that I love. It's a no-brainer that we're gonna do something for all of the holidays. Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Fourth of July, Christmas, Christmas Eve, Thanksgiving. We do something for all of them, but we love it every single time. I love once the event is over, the recap that happens at the end of the night. There's always so much going on in all the different rooms of a house that you can't be involved in all the conversations, so it's nice to hear what everyone else was talking about or a story you might have missed. So it was one Christmas Eve, maybe four or five years ago, and we were all sitting down to eat dinner. Pretty much everyone was seated with their plate at the table. My brother was one of the last ones to sit down, and he puts his plate down, and he happens to be texting on his cell phone, looking down, and goes to sit in his chair, which he thinks is behind him, which is not behind him, and just lands flat on the floor on his butt. The entire room broke out into hysterical laughter. No one could eat for a good five to 10 minutes because we were laughing so hard and it was a moment that we still laugh about to this day. Oh, how tired you are at the end of the day. You're doing laps in and out of the kitchen, greeting your guests, saying hello, and at the end of the day, you're just exhausted. You can underestimate how much you have to host and overestimate how much you can get done once people are there. 
It's a bit of a dance to find that balance. Even with small gatherings, you want to catch up with friends that just showed up, but there's a couple things you need to take care of in the kitchen. I remember one of the first events I hosted a few years ago, truly on my own. I sympathized with my mom so much after that day. When we were wrapping up after the party ended, I said, I finally get it now, I am exhausted. But after it all, you're just happy it was fun and that everyone had a great time. Be prepared. Write a list for what you can do 24 hours before the event and the day of. And if something goes wrong, just let it go. It's not going to ruin the entire party if one appetizer doesn't turn out the way you wanted. And if people want to help, let them help. If they can chop something up in the kitchen while you're putting out an appetizer, that's one less thing for you to do. You don't want too many cooks in the kitchen, but you do want the right amount of cooks. At the end of the day, it's all supposed to be fun. So pour yourself a drink, relax, and join the party.